going on, y'all? Today's the day. The Marine and a schoolie. Here's the Marine. There's the schoolie. About to start this journey. Hello, everyone. I am Reginald Wallace. After 24 years of service in the United States Marine Corps, I decided to convert a school bus into a tiny home to explore the country that I served. Join me on this journey, the build and the road trip of a Marine and a schoolie. I figure I come inside because we've got our 22 inch tall base and yeah this is a thought I'm still extra long so Right. 
travel the throne I got here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That rates the that rates the that rates the that has got the rain in here. That's perfect. Sit back, relax, let's see. Let's do the thinking man's thing. Oh look. Y'all should be able to see my face on this one. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Like I'm playing Candy Crush or something. Oh yeah, this is this is perfect. Perfect. Now I gotta check the height. Make sure I did the height right. Well, I'm gonna let y'all see what I paid thirty dollars for a toilet seat for. First off, I've gotta have the the oval or oblong seat. Just I just gotta have it. But watch this right here. What? That's it. All right, well, I've got to a point on my composting toilet where I gotta make a stop. Because one, I've still gotta cut that hole out down there in the wheel well to get that fan down. And then I've gotta create my front box. But once I get that, uh, I think I'm going to do that next, but I just want to do it tonight because they're talking about it snowing. And I know it's critters running all around here, and I don't want to give them any access to the inside of the bus. So I'll wait till after this snow passes. They say it's supposed to be gone by Sunday. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put up this wall piece here uh, right here on the side because I know you all didn't get the, the pleasure of rolling with me on the last one. So you just got to see pictures. So this time, I'm actually let you all ride with me while I put this sucker in place. So let's do it. And they're so long, I actually have to take them out the bus and then bring them back in the bus. And basically what I'm doing is I'm not putting them all the way at the bottom. I'm going to leave the bottom open because that's where I'm going to run my um, plumbing.
All right, this is outro video take two. Yeah, I, I, I guess I was talking to myself for the last six minutes, so I'm going to have to say it all again, but it's all good. I just want to say to those new folks that's come on and come in, go back and watch some of the older videos and get caught up to where we are. Uh, you can start right where you are. It's up to you, but... Uh, uh, we started this thing and, and it's crazy just thinking about it. It's only been four months and I don't know if anybody has ever built a bus this fast. Um, or gotten to this point this fast, but I'll definitely say that without Marcellus, uh, I guess I didn't get all that wood out of my finger. Without my man Marcellus, I would not be this far. I would still be piddling alone. So, I know a lot of y'all have been asking where he's at. He's still around. He's just uh, getting himself together, getting himself well. And uh, so, if you're the praying type, throw some prayers up for him and his, and his family. And uh, try to get him back here before this thing is done. Because... I tell you honestly, I miss the camaraderie that me and him had out here on this bus. We had a good time every day. So, uh, but uh, thank you again, Marcellus. Um, but uh, today, what I got done was I got my composting toilet complete to as far as I can get it right now before I have to, and I have to drill a hole into the wheel well to put that fan in and then run my 12 volt wires back up and out to the switch so i'm at a stopping point right there because they're talking about snow is coming and i got rabbits everywhere and i don't want to give them an opportunity or to see that there's a hole or an entryway into this bus because with this insulation it's pretty warm in here uh, when it's cold outside but um so i'm gonna wait for that part uh you all got to see the wonderful slow rolling slow closing toilet that was awesome i didn't even know it closed that i know it was, i bought a soft closing toilet but i didn't know it was that slow but it was it's nice um and um and then we got one board up and like i said i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and do one more um just because it's the one that has to be cut around my outlets. Actually, I think I'll wait. That way you all can uh, see it. Because I think I, you all weren't able to see when I cut the outlets out on the last one. So, I'll save that. So, I'll save that. I'll go ahead and just do my cleanup. And I'll save that for the next video. But, I had a good time again today. Weather was great. Um, I don't know if you're in the in the path of this snow to say is coming through. Get you what you need and get buckled down and hunkered down and ready for the night. But they say it's supposed to be cold and snowing and raining and then it's supposed to pass and it's supposed to be snowy a couple of days later. So I'm hoping they do just that. So I can, because uh, I am anxious to get on my roof so I can get these emergency exits out. And then once I get the emergency exits out, I can put in my first max air fan and then I can start getting my, uh, my, uh, um, shoot, what am I trying to say? Oh, my uh, skylights uh, cut in. At least the one in the front. The one in the back is it's gonna take. It won't be until next month because that one right there is like two hundred ninety dollars. Uh, unless somebody want to donate it, it's at Lowe's. Uh, and uh, oh, big shout out to my daughter Tia. She uh, paid for my roof paint, and uh, I appreciate that, darling. Cause that was that's my next step, but again the rain and the snow it keeps holding me up. But um, yeah, so that's where we're at now. Thank you guys again for watching. I had another great day out here on the bus, and I'm finna do some cleaning, and I'm gonna do some eating, and I'm gonna do me a little drinking. So you all have a wonderful night, and stay tuned for the next one. If you don't have that notification bell hit it on if you like it like it if you don't like it say you don't like it but uh as i always say like subscribe marina and the schoolie simplify